Hello everybody, welcome back to another What's In The Box today. It's two bits of post I've been getting this week. Uh, this one is from Westminster Collections or uh, Change Checker. Let's get rid of the... Oh, I uh, didn't, didn't expect a, a card with this one. Let's get rid of the evidence. Um, but what we've got here is a coin from the Isle of Man 2023. Let's uh, zoom in a little bit. Try and move the light now the way it's all right. So we've got the uh, Charles III portrait on, which I think, if I'm right, it was done by Fionn Gwillem. And what it relates to is the TT sidecar racing. Now, at first, I thought this little bit here was a gouge taken out of the coin. I thought, oh, here we go again. But um, apparently, it is part of the design when I've had a look. Uh, must be like, like a little handle on the sidecar. So I was really, really chuffed with that one. That's uh, another addition to the territory collection. Um, I'm going to change things around a bit. I'm going to do the card first. So we can concentrate on the other one that I've got to do. And we've got Benjamin Bunny. Did I get, I'm sure I got Benjamin Bunny the other week. I know that's all I've been getting, dictionaries and Benjamin Bunnies. Um, anyway, <laughs> I'll put him out the way. Um, now, as you, or you do not know, um, I've got a contact in the uh, South Wales by the name of Jude. Now, Jude uh, contacted me, asking me had I got the um, Scottish £5 coin, because that had just come out, um, and I did say I hadn't, but um, I was going to ask my daughter to get it, but I, I wasn't sure whether Emma was going to be back up in uh, Cardiff. So Jude and her husband Rob said they would pick one up for me, which they have done. Um, but there's other bits in here as well, which I, I tell you something I'm absolutely gobsmacked with. Um, so hi Glenn, please find clothes, the coins we discussed, hopefully I will be able to find some more bargains for his sound, best wishes Jude. So 10 bob, this is the way to go, a contact down in South Wales, uh, for, and a li nice little sort of bus there, um, what do you call them again, minivan, I don't know. Anyway, that is going to be leading on to something that um, we'll be seeing in a little bit. So let's start off with the £5 coin. So this is the Lion Rampant of Scotland and not the Rampant Lion, which means a totally different thing. <laughs> so that is the quadruple now. So we've got the England, Scotland, Ireland and Wales ones. Um, so exclusively available at the Royal Mint Experience. Now, I know there's been a few, I know, Save a Bucks coin, um, he's been harping on that why should, a, you You can only get it from the Royal Mint experience. I mean, do they not realise that there's people living out, out in sort of uh, the outer re regions of the United Kingdom who just have no chance of getting to the Royal Mint experience, and unless they know somebody that... Uh, so I can get a coin on their behalf that lives nearby, i.e. Jude, or in my case, uh, my daughter as well. We've got no chance. So anyway, the uh, this £5 base proof coin, memorable design, the first appeared on the UK £1 coin in 1994. The design created by renowned sculptor Norman Silman, the patriotic reverse design that appeared on this coin embodies the spirit of Scotland through conventional Scottish icons. Iconography, whether purchased as a gift for a loved one or a personal memento of your visit, this coin is a perfect way to celebrate Scottish culture with the Royal Mint. And uh, well, there's the coin specs there. 
Now the only thing that I've noticed when these are coming, they've got these little plastic tags on that they're uh, they hang on the wall. And uh, sometimes if you don't peel it off nicely, the, the cellophane just goes all to pot. So anyway, it's a, it's a very nice coin indeed. We really like that design, but I think I honestly think somebody at the Royal Mint thought, of, oh, I've got a good idea. We'll put a, a one pound design on a five pound coin and then charge 20 quid for it. <laughs> so that's what seems to be happening here. Anyway, nice coin indeed. Thank you very much, Jude. But it doesn't stop there. Jude picked this up as well from uh, what one of the coin stores that she visits ever so often. It's a 20 pence. From Isle of Man, uh, no doubt uh, two cattle uh, pick up on that winged helmet. So that's uh, what all the paraphernalia on that coin relates to: broadswords, daggers, shield, breastplate. Got the denomination spears, battle axes as well. So this was from nineteen eighty-two. Now, Jude um, managed to get this for three quid, but it, I believe it is a silver proof because this, um, I'm trying to zoom in as best I can, this little mint mark here at the bottom is a D. Now, normally uh, the designs are like AA or AB, DA, C, whatever. There's usually two letters, but that's just got the one which is a D and uh, on you mister it is actually a silver proof now I think uh, there's somewhere on here it actually says about the silver proof there we go so sterling silver proof six grams and a worldwide issue limit of 15,000 so like I say, Jude was able to get that for just three quid. Excellent uh, value indeed. And then we've got, we've got two bits of card there. I think I've zoomed far too far in. And everything's gone fuzzy. There we go. Never mind what's in the box, it's what's in the envelope. Uh, now, Jude said she was going to send us up a few more, which I've paid for as well. Uh, these six here, apparently, uh, she said they were gifts. Anyway, we've got a crown from 1975. Manx Cat. Again, a design I don't have. Take it out of its little pocket so we're gonna have a better look at it. Just had to pause the video slightly there because the the lighting on the on the actual camera had gone a bit askew. So like I say 1975. And uh, I'm in the condition. I mean there's a little bit of toning but uh, it's not a great deal. It's in fantastic condition that. Jude was able to pick both of these crowns up for a pound each. So this one 19, well this will be, looks be a silver jubilee because it's got 52 to 1977 from Gibraltar. And again it isn't um, a crown that I've actually got. Lovely jubbly. Now this one, um, I think we've got to give Jude's husband uh, a mention for this one because he'd gone into the bank, as what Jude told me, he'd gone into the bank and the cachet behind there says, oh, I've just had a five pound coin paid in. He says, would you like it? So he's able to get it for uh, for face value, £5 for £5 from 2021, and it is 
a little Miss Sunshine. Now, as I said with uh, Jude's letter, this ties in quite nicely because uh, you can remember that the actually the, the whole family went on that mini bus to that uh, sort of dancing competition, a pageant, and um, both my daughters used to love the film Little Miss Sunshine. I think they watched it on repeat on DVD uh, when they were a lot younger. So that was quite that was quite up that Jude. I don't know if you realised. So that is another one. I didn't really go for the little uh, Miss or the Mr Men coins. I thought there would be childish, but I haven't said that. Uh, and I've got a bit of a hole in the uh, collection, so I may have to get them at some point. I think I might have to get them out this way on. And these coins, Jude said, they were a gift. So the first one, $2,009, one dollar. Some sort of seal and board on it. Oh, it's from uh, Bermuda. Now, I'm not sure whether all of these are going to be new coins or um, new countries to the collection, so I will be putting some annotation around the screen with the Mintage figure as well, because I'll need to look that up. That's a lovely coin, that. It's like a gold finish. I don't know whether it's some sort of uh, like brass composition. It's in fantastic condition. Uh, this one, I've got a 50 cents. 1952 to 2002, so Golden Jubilee. Got the uh, UK flag on that side. What, 50 cents, so it's obviously going to be one of the Commonwealth countries. Um, don't think it's Australia. Could be New Zealand. I'm trying to think where, where others there is. Uh, could be Canada. Might be one of the uh, Caribbean countries. Oh, it is. It's Canada. Just at the bottom there. And it's got that little uh, P there. Which I think, if memory serves, is plated. Because I know I had uh, some coins with that on before when I was doing a What's in the Box. I'm sure it stands for something like plated. Lovely coin, lovely coin. Oh, we've got a multi-sided one here. Oh, we've got one from Belize, 2007. Some sort of uh, galleon on the sea there. Probably, might be just a fishing boat, I don't know, one dollar. Queen Elizabeth the second. And I know I definitely don't have this one. That's fantastic coin, that. We've got here Isle of Man. One pound. From 1980. Now, obviously, we started using the one pounds in 1983, but I Isle of Man did use them prior to that date. Uh... Now, if I remember rightly, the mint mark is somewhere near here. <laughs> I don't know if I can zoom in any further. Maybe BB. But uh, again, I put some something around the screen to say what it is. 
but uh, the colour of it, it's it's like um, it's not toned. It's like that veranium uh, metal, which I believe Pop Joy sort of uh, manufactured many many years ago. Got the PM at the bottom of the Queen's neck for Pop Joy Mint. Nice one. I've got a couple of larger coins here. Got another one from 50 cents on it. It's a cool alligator and I don't know, it's a shark. Ooh. Nope, don't know that one. Oh, Solomon Islands, 2010. Well, that could well be a new one or a new country for the collection. And I'm not sure, like I said, about the Belize one. That one might be uh, a new one as well. Oh, we've got another one with a board on. 50 cents. Fiji 2006 uh, I do have some smaller denomination Fijian coins that's a beaut that isn't it wow right so what have we got just as a recap I mean most of it like I say is uh, all come from Jude, so we've got the Little Miss Sunshine, we've got the Base Pro £5 coin, we've got this Silver Proof 20p, I'm almost certain it is Silver Proof. Because uh, Jude did tell, uh, sort of send me a picture up of it and asked me my, my opinion, I said it looks like a Silver Proof, and when I researched it, it was. Another nice one there from the Isle of Man, and then we've got these six coins here. Well, Jude, all I can say is, again, a big, 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 big thank you. <laughs> um, I hope you and Rob are well. And uh, anybody in the comments, please uh, say a thank you to Jude as well. She's an absolute diamond. Um, so that's it for today's What's in the Box. So all I can say is thank you for watching. And until the next time, keep on hunting, enjoy yourselves, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.